So, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Faithful to the Tenkaichi series. Looks amazing. The aura looks good. And now we're looking at Sparking Zero and how Sparking Zero failed in one of the most crucial details. BT3 got this right. So how could the spiritual successor of BT3 get this oh so wrong? Man, rank matches is gonna be dope. Yeah, I just obligatorily broken characters. Now, of course, you're gonna have the little sparking zero brain cells come out in the comment section and say, Well, of course, the characters aren't gonna be bad. Blah, 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 blah. You really need to get laid. I bet they'll have the Tenkaichi 2 music. Because this game, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, has got to have the worst soundtrack of any Dragon Ball game. Oh man, I swear this is about to be the best game ever. Sparking Zero has officially become the worst Dragon Ball game, lower than Ultimate Tenkaichi. What? Who's my sister? Do me a favor, shut the fuck up. <sighs> Another Rage Breeder, huh? Fine. Just follow me on my socials that I listed here and buy my merch. So for some reason, Buddy wanted to be different and start hating the game for clicks. And I swear, I'm looking at these titles and I can't believe these are real criticism. Sparking Zero reveals Dragon Ball Tea Time create a story. Sparking Zero release date trailer confirms our biggest fear. Sparking Zero has zero combos. How? Sparking Zero secretly jump force two in disguise. Is this nigga dumb? Sparking Zero requires no skill compares to Ultimate Tenkaichi. Okay, get this guy out the freaking kitchen. Sparking Zero is worse than Naruto Storm Connection. Get the hell out! Are you fucking me right now? Whose man's is this? Okay, so Buddy's whole channel is basically bad takes galore. It's fine if you don't like the game, just come up with a better critique or just keep it to yourself. So I would like to know how Sparking Zero is Jump Force 2 in disguise because so far I'm not seeing fucking going in that game. Uh, I'm not planning on giving this nigga any sort of views. So I'm gonna do this. Do that. We just download this shit here. And it is downloaded. Yes, sir. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is just Jump Force 2. And it's no big surprise considering the people who made Jump Force 1 are making this game. But don't tell the Sparking Zero brain cells that because they have the inability to critically think. When you look at everything in Sparking Zero, right? You look at the combat system, it's literally just jump force with flight added. You get no bitches! Buddy sounds like he bathes in pickle juice. Buddy sounds like he stinks. So his name is Perfection. Sick. Maybe change that to Imperfection. Actually, change it to Larva and bury yourself underground because that's how dirt your opinions is. I said that the dynamic stage looks just like the one in Jump Force with the Statue of Liberty removed, right? Are you fucking dumb? And I've already been on to Spike Chunsoft reusing stuff. Um, yeah, because Dynamic Stage is from Dragon Ball. And Jump Force is basically about bringing in the anime franchise in one game. Why am I explaining this to him? Yeah, you could throw some triangle inputs in there, but you don't have, like, step cancels, guard cancels, key blast cancels, rising cancels, flying cancels, just like in the other Dragon Ball games. Well, maybe play those other Dragon Ball games. In Jump Force! <laughs> so essentially people are celebrating a game that they hate because it's just jump force focused in on dragon ball <laughs> what the fuck is so goddamn funny I, I i started to see it and i'm like son of a bitch like, okay, sure, they have flight, but that doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's all they added was flight. That's all Jump Force doesn't have. That's the, that's the difference between the two, is flight. <laughs> tell me I'm wrong. Tell, go ahead, tell me I'm wrong. wrong. Are your brain cells equated to that of a single grain of salt? How about you play Budokai Tenkaichi 3 and you can see the similarities? But you can't. You got Xenoverse 2 14-inch horse rocket closing your esophagus. <laughs> And you want even more evidence, right? You know that they don't have proper Z counter 
That should be even more evidence they just lifted Jump Force's gameplay and didn't really do anything for BT3 because they don't have the accurate Z counter that will end up in a vanish battle. So actually all they did was again, add flight, and copied the Jump Force gameplay. Notice how he shows no proof of Sparking Zero copying Jump Force in that video? Yeah, he loves to hear himself talk. Hey, this is British AI. I'm assuming that Squad Sane Slader forgot that he did add Jump Force gameplay in the video, but he most likely skimmed through the video just to get it over with. Can't blame him. I wouldn't want to sit through the video of a dude who sounds like he sucks one off for a cheeseburger. He shows off the gameplay of Goku from Jump Force doing a super move, and that equates to it being a lot similar to Sparking Zero. Okay, first off, are you expecting the developers to make Goku's super move not referencing the anime? Second, it's an arena fighter, you idiot. And third, how the hell is Goku doing a super move means Sparking Zero is copying Jump Force. If anything, Jump Force plays similarly to Naruto Ninja Storm, but of course you have a strong hate boner for Sparking Zero. There is no way Larva spent over 9 minutes talking about the aura. There's no way. Bro, come look at his banner. It just screams virgin. Is that Charlie Morningstar? Bro, what's wrong with him? Something wrong with this nigga, bro. ET3 got this right. So how could the spiritual successor of BT3 get this oh so wrong? Now I know a lot of people are gonna be scratching their heads on this. And of course, a lot of people will point out that they went with the Shintani, Dragon Ball Super Broly auras. And you know, that looks okay on some characters. And we're not really talking about the looks of the auras. It's a big detail that holds true for all Dragon Ball games. And Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, the detail drew game managed to fumble this up. Yeah, they sure have messed it up. How can you screw that up? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Your passive key, when you're just standing around doing nothing or being hit, even while you're being hit and taking damage, in the other games, you still had your aura. You did not have to be charging and you did not have to be dashing around to see your aura. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. So while you're being hit, the aura should just pop up. Like getting hit triggers your aura. The fuck is he talking about? This is a prime example of someone who claims to be a Dragon Ball fan by watching TikTok clips. In Xenoverse 2, when they do their aura mods, they go off, okay? And they get this right. So I don't get how a, a supposedly trusted developer, you trust these people to get this type of thing right. And it's their business. This is your business that you're supposed to get right and you get it wrong. Hey, talking about this so they'll overlook every mistake that this game makes. And then it actually gets even worse because they got the sound effects wrong too. Nigga, what? And then it actually gets even worse because they got the sound effects wrong too. Shut your s Is he deaf? Is this nigga deaf? Dragon Ball Sparking Zero devs hate fans because the fans demand split screen and they gave them split screen, but yeah, I guess. So you see how disposable you are to the producers and developers and the shields of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero because as soon as you as a fan base let your voices be heard and say, no, we want movie characters, we want GT, we want more characters, this isn't enough, we're tired of Dragon Ball Super characters only. You see how quick they were to turn on you and call you a trash fan base he gonna cry nicole my man your voice cracks a little does the little bitch lost his pacifier you're getting your gt in movies comment all these people who try to run air quotations run this community on the reddits on the twitters on the youtube channels all the shields all the 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 paid for opinions you see as soon as you let your voices be heard in that live chat when you were in that live stream this morning watching the garbage ass great say a man gameplay where well, you were in there saying hey this is trash where's gt where's movie characters where's all the, these new features that we were supposed to be getting we're not getting when well, you let your voices be heard what was the first thing that they did when that live stream went off 
This is a trash, this is already a trash fan base. This sucks, this is garbage, blah, 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 blah. You see how quickly all that lovey-dovey, all everyone's together, all that narrative went out the window. You really need to get a Jeez, you people are ungrateful. This game gonna be focusing on Z and Super, and Super has never been in a Tenkaichi series. So just give them a fucking chance, shit. They're showing how the online system works. In the name of Dende, if you want GT and Super characters in a Tenkaichi game, game play the tenkaichi 4 and quit your bitching let them cook and they start labeling you as a trash fan base that's how disposable you are so not only are you not getting what you want in this game they will brand you as trash if you complain about it at all if you find anything that is out of place and they want to charge you a hundred dollars two hundred dollars for this game and they want to charge you all that money and then still try to call you trash this is what i'm hearing <laughs> Guys, they're gonna be in the fucking game. Why do you want them in the base roster so bad when y'all don't even like GT? Hey, budgie, it's a budgie, it's a budgie, it's a but No, you're making money. I swear, his cousin and grandma must be mommy and daddy. He's the type who moans when he takes a shit. I can't stand his virgin voice anymore, so I'll just react to this one and it'll be the last video from him. Sparking Zero requires no skill compares to Ultimate Tenkaichi. But he don't even know how to rage bait, right? So Dragon Ball Sparking Zero finally achieved something. Now, it did not achieve breaking BT3's roster, you know. It didn't achieve becoming a better game than BT3, but it accomplished something very important that we had not seen before in the history of Dragon Ball games. Sparking Zero has officially become the worst Dragon Ball game, lower than Ultimate Tenkaichi, because Sparking Zero requires no skill compared to Ultimate Tenkaichi. He's really farming. I bet his next video is gonna be, Sparking Zero is worse than Fortnite and it's not even close. No, I just seen the cover what's that? Please don't use that as an idea. And those are facts. Not feelings, those are facts. Cap. Because <laughs> we're going to discuss a revelation that I've come upon. I, I've been do doing research, you know, looking at the news, looking at the articles, and we had something confirmed that nobody has touched on. And of course, the sparking zero brain cells, the, the glazing channels that get invited out to play the game. And even though they've been playing BT3, they didn't do any BT3 combos or anything like that. You know, none of that, right? But we have gotten a revelation, a piece of news, something that we wouldn't have gotten because we know how the Sparking Zero Glazers and the Sparking Zero Brain Cells What the fuck like are you talking about? This nigga isn't really talking about anything. I I'm done. Hey, idiot. The game is not even out yet. You're doing a worse job at rage baiting than Kevin Leonardo. Oh, fuck. He has a Twitter. Oh my God, no. Oh, Lord. oh shit. Here we go again. We got a keeper. No! 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 If the strongest Dragon Ball character, Lord Paragon, has a WWE theme song that went triple platinum, Paragon's theme song is straight fire. He even types like a virgin. Get some pussy. I'm begging you. There's no way he reposted a video of old girl showing off her titties. What, like you scared to talk to a woman or something? Because Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is ass. And it's nothing but a cash in with a shit DB Super roster. With no Fasha or Kokote or Chilai. Because Chilai isn't a fighter, you freaking horny bastard. And what the fuck is a Kokote? Oh. Please get off the hub. Glad marriage is dying. Y'all aren't man enough to stand up to women to make M take your name. Just tell me you don't have balls but then again getting married is for cucks who have to get lucky for just one woman until she decides to open the marriage. 
but he can't open it. Bruh, what in the hell is he talking about? Buddy, have you seen the shit you posted? And you have the gall to say all this? You haven't even touched a woman ever. And no, your sister don't count, freak of nature. Oh, sick. He's into politics. More reason to hate his goofy ass. More sparking zero hate. But the guy who he reposted actually has a valid point. Just give him a feedback. They'll listen. <laughs> That bitch isn't so big. I'll take her ass to the chop shop and have her making me breakfast in nothing but an apron and a smile in no time flat. You shut the fuck up. Misogynistic. Ah, the slap the shit out you, nigga. Did you tweet that with one arm, you widow? Oh my fucking gosh. How do you get off? Like I'm being dead ass here. I'm beginning to think these Sparking Zero hate videos aren't rage baits. Oh yeah, they're definitely not bait. He was dead ass the entire time. Please get a hobby. Like an actual hobby, not this freaky shit. Do you even believe in the words you say? You know the funny thing? The real pedophiles are the morons like y'all who make stupid shit like this about serious issues. So it takes attention off of you. You really thought you ate? Excuse me, what? Do you even think about the shit you tweet? Would you take a nap with me? Be honest. Nap? No, I'm gonna impregnate you. Buddy, that looks like a child. I'm leaving. Hey, hey, my name is Drake, and I'm here to say, Kendrick Lamar, I hear this is R and OK. Diss me, diss me, now you gotta kiss me. Yeah, it's all coming together. Well, no, not literally. I was just under the impression that Buddy was just a dude with very bad takes, but no. Buddy is an entire weirdo. It's a damn good thing he's not well known or popular, but we do got someone who is the opposite that rage baits differently. Or, hell, they're probably the same, I don't fucking know. Bro said he'll impregnate someone who looks questionable and gave his thought on something he has absolutely no knowledge of. Larva, just stick to dick writing's universe too and paying high amounts of money on artists drawing pictures of you fucking Dragon Ball characters. Shit, you might pull a verbal aids and pay someone to do this. Limp dick, no pussy, professional masturbating creep.